In December 1920, the creator of Sherlock Holmes, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, published an astonishing article. The fairy photographs in this article would become known as the Cottingley Fairies. Doyle gave his personal endorsement to the fairy photographs. People were shocked. How could the creator of Sherlock Holmes have promoted such a fantastic claim? Holmes was known, above all, for his scientific methods of deduction. He solved crimes using careful observation and logical analysis. Holmes continued to haunt the public imagination, even after Doyle killed off the character in 1893. People were not ready to let go of the great scientific detective. The fairy photographs Doyle published in 1920 had been taken by two girls. They lived in a small village called Cottingley, on the outskirts of Bradford. Their names were Frances Griffiths and Elsie Wright. They had taken the photographs three years earlier, when Elsie was 16 and Frances just nine years old. Frances was a solitary child. She played alone for hours on the banks of Cottingley Beck. When Frances came home one day with wet shoes, her mother angrily demanded to know what she had been doing at the Beck. Francis replied, I go up to see the fairies. Elsie spied an opportunity for mischief. She said she also had seen fairies and asked to borrow her father's camera to get proof.